Hi there, and uh, welcome to another tutorial from FX Shana House. Um, on this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how to attach uh, splines to another object and to make them dynamic. So um, it's a very cool and fun tutorial to follow up. Uh, it's a, also a short tutorial from FX Shana House, and I uh, hope you enjoy this. So grab your cinema for the and let's go. All right, so uh, let's do this. So um, uh, first thing, uh, open up a new project. Uh, this new project, let's uh, make some uh, objects just to attach the spline. So I'm going to make a cube. I'm going to put this to 20. Uh, I'm going to also put this one to 20. And I'm going to increase this guy a little bit so that we have like a certain kind of a pole just to grab our spline. Uh, once we have this, uh, we can now uh, control uh, and uh, drag our object to copy the object and um, just uh, make a uh, a little bit of size for them to to be separated and uh, now it's okay so um, once you have that you can go now to the um, to the front front view and um, let's make a little bit of zoom and let's uh, bring our spline here so I'm going to grab a Bezier spline uh, and on this Bezier spline I'm going to first uh, make a click over this one I'm going to um, hit shift and um, and uh, just drag this a little bit over here. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, and once that we have our spline, if you press play, nothing happens because uh, this thing don't have dynamic. Uh, it's not grabbed to the pole. And um, uh, and uh, we can do some cool things over here. So um, in order for you to have uh, that control over the splines, it's very easy. So um, I'm going to hit the spline, um, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to control the, the pivot point over here so I'm going to drag this a little bit and uh, so so the, the, that we can have a, a better control on the on the center of the, the spline so uh, once we have that we can uh, right click uh, no sorry we can uh, go to select all and make a right click and on the subdivide we can put um, how many points that we have that we want for, for our spline so this is going to be important because uh, uh, more more subdivisions you have, more points you have, and the, and the spline is going to be more dynamic and have more points to, to bend over. So uh, I'm going to put this in about like uh, 35, should be good. And um, and here we have, so um, our spline is already cut it and uh, split it. And uh, what we're going to do is uh, attach the spline to, to this cube. So um, it's very, very easy. So um, once you have this, I'm going to grab the selection tool, left selection tool, and I'm going to select these points over here and I'm going to drag over a hair tag, so uh, one constraint for one cube and another constraint to another cube. Uh, okay, so on this constraint what we need to do, we have our points selected and uh, we just need to, to grab the, the cube and attach to this point, so uh, to do that it's very easy, you're going to click over here and uh, uh, drag your cube into there and hit set. If your if, if your points are selected and if and if you had these lines over here, uh, it's telling us that um, the points are grabbed to the um, to the cube, so uh, it's okay. So what you're going to do now, you're going to grab the the other uh, attach point, uh, the other constraint, and you're going to select these points over here, and you're going to select this and drag the second cube over there and hit set. So um, now if you press play you go into the perspective view uh, and if you press play still nothing happens because uh, we need just to put the dynamics on this plane. So um, to do that you're going to make a right click and uh, hit the spline dynamics. And on the spline dynamics uh, it's where you have all the control for the the movement of the spline. So uh, if you press play now, you see that your spine is already dynamic. So um, this is also uh, pulled by the gravity and uh, by the stiffness and the uh, elastic elastic limit. So um, if you put your stiffness a lot uh, like this and your force is, how can I say, with less gravity, you see that your spline don't bend so much. It's more slower. It's uh, it's more drag. It's more catchy to that point. So uh, if you want to play, just play a lot with this uh, until you you want uh, until you have the 
the right movement uh, for your spline. So um, the tutorial is almost uh, ending. So uh, uh, the animation is this one. Um, and if you make a render, you see that you don't have a spline. So um, to make a render of this spline is very easy also. So you just have to grab a circle, uh, put this circle on about, I'm going to put this about 0 0.5, should be nice. And I'm going to grab um, a sweep nerf. So I get, grab on this too and make it a child of sweep nerfs. So um, if you press play, you see that you have your dynamics. And uh, if you make a render, you have um, you have the spline already there. So uh, it's like this. So um, if you want to make more changings and uh, how can you say you can uh, you can have all control of the spline uh, dynamic over here. So uh, make your things. Uh, how can I say uh, make your place um, play a lot with this and um, uh, jump over. Uh, on a scene and send me a video of your things that you're doing uh, from my tutorial. So uh, I, will, I will be very pleased to to see them. So um, if you press play again, uh, you have your spline, you have your dynamics, uh, you have your renderings, uh, renderings uh, to to make um, the animations for the spline. And I uh, hope you enjoy this. So um, and also I can uh, uh, if if you want to play a little bit with this. You can uh, increase this time, uh, like about 350. <coughs> Sorry, for 350. And um, if you press, um, just go to one cube, uh, press Alt G, and make it a um, make just this on a null object, and uh, bring this backwards. And if you press play and move your thing, you see that your your spline is um, is going along with a uh, can I say with a with the pulse, so um, it's a very cool and uh, easy thing to, to work out here on uh, Cinema 4D and I uh, hope you enjoy this, so um, it's another tutorial, a tutorial from FX Channel House and I uh, hope you enjoy this, so uh, keep following up, uh, keep that thumbs up and uh, cheers, uh, I will see you on another tutorial soon, so bye!